संकलन भजन इस कथा को हम लोग श्रवण कर रहे थे जिसमें साधक जो आप भाव दशा में प्रस्तुत हो जाते हैं उनको खुदाई के पुस्तक क्रिया आदि होते हैं जिन पर हम लोग किए जाते हैं नाम पूर्ति होने पर खुदाई जी सहाविक श्री कृष्ण मूर्ति के इतने परिमाण हृदय में शुद्ध नाम उदित हो जाता है और उस समय उनकी भगवान की अपराजित दिव्य मनोमुक्तकारी श्री मूर्ति का ये प्रकाश होते रहता है विग्रह उसी के कहा जाता है कि महाभागवत जब भजन करते करते अपने अंतर हृदय में अंतर हृदय में जो स्फूर्ति प्राप्त करते हैं और वही विग्रह के रूप में हमारे सामने प्रकट हो जैसे जैसे साधक भजन करते करते यानी नाम भजन करते करते और अंतर हृदय में प्रभु की कृपा से वो भाव उदित होता है ऐसे श्लोक में ही कह रहे हैं जन्मत्व लिलोकम प्रयोग मायाबलम दर्शयतम गृहतम दुष्मापनम तस्वे परम पदम भूतम भूतम चालीस कथा को हम लोग श्रवण कर रहे थे ये उद्धव देवी जी से कृष्ण के सौंदर्य रूप माधुर्य वर्णन कर रहे हैं ये स्वयं भगवान कृष्ण नित्य गोलोक वृंदावन धाम के अपने योगमय के द्वारा मनुष्य की लीलाओं से मतलब मानव लीलाओं की उपयोगी के जो दिव्य विग्रह प्रकाश करते हैं यहाँ तक कि इनकी उनकी इतनी सुंदर दिव्य विग्रह जो है जिसको देखे स्वयं कृष्ण ही विस्मित हो जाते हैं दुष्मापन शस्त्र शुभवृद्धि परम पदम भूतनम भूतनाम ये उनके इतने सुंदर अंग कांति के आभूषण लोग सुशोभित हो जाते हैं दिव्य गले की जो मालाएं अथवा उनके शरीर जो आभरण भूषण जो है अलंकार जो है वो अलंकार मानो स्वयं ही जो है सुशोभित होते हैं अर्थात भगवान की ऐसी सुंदर मधुरमान विग्रह या उसके अलंकार अपने को शोभा बनाते हैं इसलिए कैसे उन चित्त जगत में सभी चेतन व्यक्त है वहां से वहां पर भी पुष्प से लेकर के फूल से लेकर के सभी दिव्य अपराधी को चेतन कर रहे हैं उस जगत में जड़ शब्द की कोई शब्द नहीं है 
सुख शक्ति जगत में सभी चेतन चेतन के जो लक्षण जो मैं बताता हूँ फीलिंग विलिंग और एक्शन फीलिंग विलिंग फीलिंग विलिंग और एक्शन नोइंग फीलिंग अनुभव होता है चक्रिया में फीलिंग विलिंग और नोइंग हरे कृष्ण इन द ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ड देर इज नथिंग लाइक विच इज नॉट नॉन लिविंग भगवान इज सचिदानंद भगवान इज सचिदानंद सचिद आनंद So in the same way, everything is Sachidanand. Everybody is too much eager to serve Bhagavan. Can you hear me now? Please check. Am I audible to you? So, Raghunath Das Goswami is describing in the transcendental world, in the transcendental Vrindavan. So, whatever it's there, it's Sajidanand. It's all the favorable for Krishna Leela. Krishna Leela Anukulam. Favorable for Krishna's Leela. Nothing is unfavorable for Krishna's Leela. Something, something, some things, some things, you know, seems like unfavorable, but it's actually not. Even snakes, scorpion, spider, everything which is there, it is favorable for Krishna Leela. They are serving according to their behalf. <coughs> so that's why it's saying, Bhagwan, Bhagwan. So the ornaments and the bodies of the Bhagwan, so they feel themselves very fortunate because they are putting on the body of Krishna of Go or Govinda. So the the feet's ankle bells. So when ankle bells uh, in the feet of Govind, it feels itself a very fortunate. That how fortunate. Uh, I am feeling today that I am in the feet of Krishna today. So in this way, all the ornaments of Shrimati Radhika Rani, so when they touch the Shriyang of Shri Radha Rani, so they feel so much fortunate, they feel so much pleasure that time. Sometimes, there is a Leela, there, there is a pastime remembers some Vaishnav peoples. <coughs> At once, Radhaji, so she went, she was doing a Prem Bihar in a very special Kunj with Krishna. Kya? Where Nitya, Nitya songs were performing, Nitya Geet were performing there. Radha Ji, so Radha Rani had some belts in her back, vest, kamar. And the ankle belts is ringing, runjun, runjun, like that all other Radha and other Gopiyas very nicely in a Madhuri form they are doing performing dance there. So there is a Vijay Kirtan, Radha Naji, Krishna Naji, Pavan Vrindavan. So at that place, 
there was a beautiful songs were playing so but any reason radha ji the belt the belt of the kardani of west of radharani that was that was fall down on the ground sometimes it happens and when it fall down on the ground because the, the kardani the uh, west uh, belt of west was not uh, playing good sounds with the ankle bells so the ornaments of the ears of radharani as well as belt of west of radharani and the third of ankle bells of the feet the three of ringing together each other and giving a beautiful sound at time so this is the eternal or nitya kala eternal arts there is a speciality of eternal arts or nitya kala so the sounds of that ornaments it gives a pleasure to everybody there all the ornaments of radha rani it's giving pleasure to or taking pleasure it's taking pleasure to have in the body of radha rani uh, what kind of nitya they were doing what are the uh, ornaments uh, dancing the vest of the vest of the belt of the vest ankle bells of the feet and the earrings of the ear which is called kundal which is kundal so they were all dancing together so at that time what happened radha ji the vest of the belt of the radha rani it fell down on the ground so what happened that time so there are two ornaments left on the one is earring of the uh, ear and the ankle bells of the feet so the kardani was not giving any sound there because it was fall down on the ground so when she was performing dance so she was not getting the sounds of the vest of the belt belt of the vest so so she is feeling some disturb just like somebody play mridang and kartal is playing harmony is playing or many kinds of on a vadh uh, yantra on our instruments are playing together in a one tune so if there is one on a uh, instrument stop to play so the other on uh, instruments so it they feels a little bit disturbed at times it happens yes i feel it so every every odd instrument should be one tune in a one rhythm so at the time one sakhi or manjari robot rati manjari uh, nitya kala okay she is very expert in the nitya kala like dancing so that sakhi or manjari so by the uh, nitya kala by the speciality of nitya kala so she tied she tied that vest of the belt belt of the vest of two radha rani vest very quickly so seeing that seen oh, many sakhis was laughing there why they were laughing so so all the sakis were laughing there that you didn't uh, put on the kardani on your vest very nicely because it is fall down on the ground so when radha ji rati lalita radha ji saw at the towards the sakis lalita vishaka because they were laughing at that time radha ji got to know after the nitya kala happened so when it is completed then radha ji went to taking rest for their rest room so when the sakhi entered into the radha rani's room so the radha rani was uh, angry so much that time this is called 
प्रेम कलह प्रेम कलह बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग मेटेरियल एवरीथिंग इज ट्रांसलेटेड ओ भैया सो शी वॉज राधर एन यूर सेंग टू राधर यू प्लीज गो आउट फ्रॉम माई रोम बिकॉज यू आर नॉट सर्विंग टू मी वेरी नाइसली Sometimes the servant doesn't doesn't perform their duties uh, very well. So what the servants do? The servants do. They some just as servant. Ah, uh, sometimes servant is not performing their duty very well. So it they so to the ishta dev they chastise them. so in the same way radha rani or radha rani is scolding to rati manjari she is giving the chastisement to her go out from my room why have you come here like this when she was saying like this so rati manjari she came out from the kunj of of radha rani and she was crying then seeing them seeing her lalita devi came lalita devi aur lalita jo hai so bolte hain ki lalita devi ke gali gaya ke so then rati manjri with the lalita saki she was you know hugging each other and crying like oh when mother uh, hug the child so the ch- child uh, cry or more and more more and more in the same way rati manjri was crying more and more like and lalita devi lalita devi hugs her and put her head on her chest at that time she was crying more and more then lalita devi said main tumhe jo hai i will meet you with radha rani don't worry i will make you meet with radha rani so lalita saki keep to keep the rati manjri to the radha rani kunj again so at the time radha rani's angerness was calm finished so at the time radha rani then radha rani keep the rati manjri on her lap and give her give her some services maybe you have heard rup go swami pad jeev go swami pad rup go swami pad said to jeev go swami pad when vallavraj vallavachari came and he spoiled the philosophy of bhakti bhakti vallavach vallavachari at that time so on this shloka it was discussion there <coughs> so balochar was saying in the shloka little bit may be change so rup go swami pad wrote this bhakti sukhas tutrotam jiske hriday mein bhukti mukti priya ki pishachi mili in somebody's heart bhakti mukti and spraya like this pishach ne lives in their heart so the pure devotion cannot be manifested in that heart if somebody have this kinds of desire bhakti enjoyments and the mukti of the liberation if they have if they have this kinds of desire so what happened that time they the bhakti cannot be manifested in their heart so vallabh acharya was thinking hey rup go swami so whatever the road uh, shloka you have wrote so people used to do so much hard at austerity for the mukti or liberation and you are and you are comparing that mukti to the pishachini to the pishachini ghost lady ghost surup ko swami pad very humbly he is a he is a vigre of uh, humbleness so he said that you are the pandit you are the greatest scholar so you can rectify it yourself whatever you want you can rectify it so at the time balav chari said this time is over now because it's noon so i have to take a bath in yamuna and i have to do some madhyanik and mantras and many things i have to do 
I will do it tomorrow. So I will rectify this your shloka tomorrow. Rupa Goswami said, "Okay, no problem." And nearby, before before the nearby Jeep Goswami Pad, Jeep Goswami Pad was standing there. He is not lesser than anybody because he was thinking, "Whatever my Gurudev has written, it is cannot be wrong. There, there is no fault can be there in the shloka." So at the time, Jeep Goswami, what he did, he said to Rupa Goswami Pad. There is no, there is no water into the pitcher, so I am going to Yamna for filling up the pitcher. So saying this, he went out. So he carrying the pitcher and came out from, came to Yamna. So at the cart at the bank of the Yamna, Vallabhachari was taking shower, so he was filling up the pitcher from that same cart, and he was discussing this, discussing with Vallabhachari with same shloka on same shloka. Ji Goswami Pad said that whatever my Guru Rupa Goswami Pad has written, it's totally true. So whatever is describing here, he is not saying the Pishashini to of Mukti. Ji Goswami Pad is saying like this: the Lady Ghost is not Mukti. Pishashini, the Lady Ghost is comparing the desire of that. Spreha, the desire of liberation. So, what kind of liberations or desire of the liberation? Mukti ki basana that is comparing with the lady ghost, Vishajini. So, Jeep Goswami Pad discussing on the Sanskrit. He was thinking or he was discussing in in this way. Because Jeev Goswami Pad is a great scholar, he is a very Pandit. So when both Pandit meet each other, so Vallavachara is not lesser than anybody. He is also a great scholar. He is older, older than the age. And Jeev Goswami Pad is very lesser than the age. But is still, he was so much lesser than the age. Is still, he, has, he is so much a scholar. He is Pandit of the Sanskrit. He is looking very young. But still, he is so much a scholar in the Sanskrit. <coughs> he has so much knowledge of the scriptures. So, so both Pandit when meet and discussing about this, Balochar and Jeev Goswami Pad. So both. So taking the shloka, they were discussing each other. According to the Vyakaran, so they were discussing on it. At last, Jeev Goswami Pad established that Bhukti Mukti Spriha, the desire of liberation. So he was giving so much pressure on Spriha, the desire. What? So he is saying. So if somebody have have the desire of enjoyment. Mukti. If somebody has a desire of sense enjoyment or liberation, so that desire lead us to other way. So, so desires of the heart that leads us to. So in the same way, Jeev Goswami Pad, he established this. So there is no fault in the, there is no fault in the liberation or mukti. But the desire of liberation, it is not good. So before the eating food, you must have the desire of eating food, desire of eating. First, you, first the desire comes in your heart for eating something. Then you will take food. When this desire, it's not audible. 
Okay, so that that desire makes the people into action. What is for first cause or the work? If both are relating each other, but is still which is first cause or the work? The so first is cause, then it converted into the work or action. So what is the reason of it's rain? What is the reason of raining? If there is so much hot, if there is so much hot, then we should understand that there is will be very soon there will be rain. It will be rain today. So what is the cause there? The reason is garmi, the hot. So much hot is the reason or the cause of raining. Cause and effect theory. That is why there is a theory of cause and effects. So in the same way, Jeev Gosai Path, he according to the Sanskrit, he was showing like that the desires of liberation. So the desire is called Pishachni. So the desires of liberation is called Pishachni. So he pressure did uh, so much pressure on this. So hearing this, Balavachari he was so much happy because it's true. Mukti is not bad, but the desire of Mukti that is bad. That is very bad. So this is bad for very for us. There are many kinds of uh, cheating propensity or kapatta which is called which Athato, Kathato, Athato, Brahma Jitya. So, comparing to Mukti ki Vasana is comparing to Pishachni. <coughs> so, Jeev Goswami Pad described very nicely in a beautiful word. So, hearing that, Balvachari was so much pleased. He was taking Shavad and he came back to he came back to the bhajan kutir of rupa saibad and coming back he said rupa who's that guy little guy so rupa saibad said he, i have two relationship with me first is my brother's son nephew nephew and the second he is my disciple too so the Balachara said, Look, he is so much intelligent. How much intelligent he is. So, whatever the fault I have found in your shlokas, so there is nothing to add it in your shloka because this Balak, this young boy, has rectified all the things. He told me all the tattva. I am defeated by him. He has explained very nicely. So I cannot add it to your sh into your shloka now. It's totally perfect. So saying that, Balachari went away. And the Rukhusai, what he did? He said to Jeev Goswami, "Hey Jeev, now you are not able to stay with me. You go away from here." He just died to Jeev Goswami. Are there was a scholar? He, he came to me. For taking some prestige or pratishta, so you have defeated him. You go away from here. You cannot stay here anymore. So Jeev Goswami Pad was crying and went away from there. And at the Yamna bank of the Yamna, where the crocodile, there was a hole of crocodile. So he seated, bent, went there. So one day or two, they passed away. So all the Brajwasi said, where is the Chote Baba? Because people used to call Chote Baba of Jeev Goswami Path. 
everybody calls Sanatan Goswami Pad to Bari Baba and everybody calls Chote Baba to Jeev Goswami Pad and where is Jeev uh, Chote Baba now? They were, people were asking to Rup Goswami Pad Sanatan Goswami Pad was also searching where he has gone when one lady went to Yamuna for uh, filling up water so he, she saw that he is sitting on the hole of crocodile so he gave the news to Sanatan Goswami Pad. She gave the news to Sanatan Goswami Pad. And Sanatan Goswami Pad lead to, went to Jeev Goswami Pad and, and make them make him understand. And they both went to Rup Goswami Pad and said, Rup, please tell me one thing. Mahaprabhu, what is the views of Mahaprabhu? What is the view? What is the thought of Mahaprabhu? At that time, Rogo Sampad was saying, Jive Daya Param Dharma. To mercy on the living entity is the Param Dharma. So, what is the views and philosophy or Mahaprabhupada? Everybody has to mercy, rest his mercy upon the Jivas. This is the Param Dharma. So, mercy on the Jivas is the Param Dharma. There are two meanings. So Mahaprabhu uses to mercy on all the jivas, and you are not doing daya of jiva. Mercy upon jiva is the vichar, is the philosophy of Mahaprabhu. So what is the most mercy to jivas, making or engaging him to the bhakti? This is the best mercy on the jivas. So. If somebody, uh, you know, turned somebody into the Bhagwan Unmukh towards Bhagwan, that is the main daya, topmost daya, topmost mercy on the jivas. So anyhow, somebody turned somebody into the towards the Bhagwan, this is the topmost mercy. So he said yes. So he said that he is jiva not. So Sanatan Goswami said that he is jiva not. So what is this fault? Why you are not mercy on him? At that time, Rupa Goswami Pad, he said to Jeev Goswami Pad, and he stay, and he give a chance to stay in his kuti. So this is the, so Mahaprabhu's philosophy is always Kirtan the Hari. But where is the philosophical views? So we have to establish that. We have to rectify that. If there is something fault in the philosophy, so we should rectify. So whatever the which are, whatever the views, Ajib Goswami Pa showed, it is true. So why Rupa Goswami Pa chastised him? So there is a Leela here. So, if somebody wants, ma, you have to give respect to who wants respect. <laughs> we, we have to pay the respect to the one who wants to respect. So, if somebody wants the respect, if you are paying respect to him, so what is harm in, in that? But what Jeev Goswami Pad did? Our Guru Dev written. This is totally, Jeev Goswami Pa said that whatever our Guru Dev wrote, it is true. There is nothing to add it in that shloka. So that's why Jeev Goswami Pa, whatever he did, it's true. So the Leela I told you about in the transcendental world. So the west, wealth of the west of Radharani was fall down. And because of that, Radharani is called to Rati Manjari. She was so much angry, upset to walk because of Rati Manjari. So this is all Leelas. This is all the speciality of that Leelas. Leela Vashishta. So there is no fault in it. So that's why I told you, in the transcendental world, so there are many there are many ornaments so they are so when they 
put on on the bodies of Radha and Krishna, so they feel their sam themselves very fortunate. Because in that transcendental world, so the parts of the bodies of Radha and Rani so beautiful, there is no need to put on ornaments on that body. We cannot compare that body parts to something. We cannot express our feelings in comparison, comparative way. We cannot describe in the words. So how beautiful the parts, body parts of that. And in that body, the ornaments put on, so so that ornaments thinks themselves very fortunate. So that's why the shlokas are I was studying about. Them. So on that beautiful body parts, the ornaments are feeling yourself very fortunate. And in this world, it's opposite. In this world, if there is if there is a lady or gents, whenever they put on the ornaments, when they put on the ornaments, so then they looks beautiful. So then the beautifulness increases. Whatever you see, Miss Universe. So, which is called the Miss Universe. The part, when she put on the alankars or ornaments on her body, so she looks more beautiful than the, you know, than the without ornaments. But in the transcendental, there is no need to put ornaments. Krishna put on the ornaments or not. But it's still they are beautiful or sonder and madhura. It's it's glorifying. There is no need to put on all these things. But it's still. So this is the transcendental Leela. So what kind of madhura or sonder he have? It is undescribable. We cannot describe that. So it's can only only we can take take the darshan of the transcendental eyes. So that's why in the shloka. So Shil Gurudev is wrought. So normally, ladies and gents, in this material, they used to put on the ornaments on their body for increasing their beauty. But in the transcendental world, Krishna and Radha Rani doesn't need any kinds of ornaments because they have the transcendental body parts, which is always beautiful. Shri Krishna's revanded form is increasing the. So by the T banded form in the Chaitanya Charitamat <coughs> Krishna Skavraj is described that Krishna's body parts is so beautiful. He is So there are twenty four uh, twenty four point five letters into the Kam Gayatri. So that twenty four point five letters. So that 24.5 letters are the form of Krishna's body. Yes. They have taken the form of Krishna's body. So it is all mentioned in the Krishna's uh, Chaitanya Chaitavad. Krishna's Madhurya is attracting everybody. Brother Janoka Kop Okay, Rosh. So the angerness of the Kop is describing into into the Bhagavatam. When they are not taking darshans, so what happens? So they, they get so much growth, anger. In this world, when we get angry, 
When हमारी डिजायर जब हमारी डिजायर पूरी नहीं होती वैन हमारी डिजायर इज नॉट फुलफिलिंग सो इन दैट वॉट वी गेट सो मच एंग सो काम इज 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 कम्स अप फ्रॉम द जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द रजो गुण समोद भवा सो काम द डिजायर कम्स फ्रॉम द रजो गुण and when we feel so much obstacles in our fulfilling of the desire so we get so much angry that time there is a little boy if somebody uh, there is a little boy if he wants to get something and somebody giving obstacles in that so he he gets so much angry that time it happens or not yes it happens so he will be so angry that time because he is not getting his he is not able to fulfilling his desire so we have seen in this world too so that's why gita in the gita bhagwan is saying kama isha everything is happening just because of rajog what is rajog is ahankar ahamta or mamta ahamta and mamta comes from the rajog so the material chad of amta or mamta when comes into so calm and growth comes into our heart and capture that in the transcendental world there is a prakrit the transcendental calm amta or mamta amta and mamta comes everywhere amta and mamta is everywhere in the transcendental world in the material world amta or mamta what is amta mamta i am the doer and mamta that it is mine i am the doer and it's mine so this is both in step uh, uh, in the transcendental material world this is mine so they have the mamta or affection towards these that that things so amta and mamta resides both uh, both uh, lokas in the transcendental world and the material world too kani bhut de capture the heart it's mine i'm the doer so nan maharaj is saying there he is my son my ye maharaj is saying he is my son he is my son so mera pan this is a and i am the mother i am the father this is doer this is amta it's mine main krishna ke pata hu pita hu i am the father of krishna ye kya hai this is ahamta aur mamta and the mamta krishna mera putra and krishna is my son this is mamta ahamta i am the father mamta he is my son so we have seen these same things into the material words mata is saying the mother is saying he is my son but what is that that is just illusion kya bhram hai kya what is the illusion there nahi ye jo putra jo hai uske atma to darshan nahi hai so because we are not taking darshan of that soul that of son so we are taking darshan of the gross body isliye that's why usme jo so the amta mamta is there this is dusha bhav there is a dosh in that shankaracharya is saying the same thing what is the cause of your moho so what is not true and you are thinking it's yours so this is called amta mamta this call mamta mamta amta you are not his father is to are thinking you are you are atma ke jo atma to nitya hai atma is eternal keval ek shari se dusre shari it only transfer from one body to another body jab is shari mein atma aati hai when the souls comes to this body that that body works started work when the soul enters into in this body so that body is started working and all the senses of this body is started working this body is met uh, jar so mata pita ha- so mata pita has given the birth to the body 
So there is no birth and death of soul. Atma, the soul is just transferred from one body to another body. So this is showed. But the father and mother, the prince is thinking he is my son and the same son. So when the souls of the body, so they are saying so he is he is my he is not my son. First they are saying they, he is my son. And when souls leave the body, then, then they are saying he is not my son. Are why? And now you are saying earlier you were saying he is your son. So the son has gone. Who's, who went away from the body? Nobody knows. When he will come back? Nobody knows. Who was that? Who was she? Who was he? Nobody knows. So when Atma remains or soul remains into the body, so we think it's mine. So you have given the birth to the body. So you, are, you have nourishment to this body. So by that's why we they have affection or mamta towards this body. But now they are saying no, it's not mine. This is strange. Because in this world, in this world, the body and the soul is a different things. In the transcendental world, so there is no difference difference between Bhagwan's body and Bhagwan's soul it is one Bhagwan is Satchidanand there is no difference between Krishna's body and Krishna's soul he is Satchidanand that's why Nanda Maharaj what he was saying he is my son Krishna is my son this is true because because Krishna is my son so the word I used Ahamta or Mamta Ines and Minus Ines and Minus so these both reside on the transcendental world and the material world so but that we have to understand about the purity and the impurity we have to take the darshan on the in the way of purity or impurity so amta and mamta they both are the eternal word eternal word but in the eternal word the amta and mamta is true it's pure and in this word the amta or mamta it's illusion it's untrue it's not true it's just like a dream just like we see we we see in the dream that we have gone somewhere and we see in the dream that i have become a king when the dream was broken so i was i was lying on my bed so we see in sometimes this kinds of dreams so there is no trueness into the dreams in the same way but in the transcendental world there is nothing illusion there is nothing kinds of illusion there so so krishna's madhur is attracting everybody anger
मुख पर निरंतर रहने वाले आनंद में मानो बाहर ही आ जाती है सभी नर नारी अपने मित्र को नृत्य के त्याग से उनके मुखारिंद का तिविस अमृत माही का निरंतर अनुपात प्रदान करते हैं परंतु नींद के इस रूप माफी का पान कर करने पर में बाधक फल के भोजन से गोविंद He has so much beautiful eyes, ear, nose, face. Everything is so much beautiful. And what you have done? So we are, we cannot take the darshan very properly because we have given the eyelids to on our eyes because they are making uh, becoming the obstacles on taking darshan of Krishna continuously. so how we can take the darshan of sundara mahavira madhurya govind with just just two eye with just two eyes so maybe some other can be creator so that creator will do what he do what he will do he will make us anek many of we, he will give us many of eyes and what and they didn't give us the eyelids so that we can take the darshan of govind continuously आनंद उत्सव आनंद उत्सव ऑल द नरनारीज दे आर परफॉर्मिंग द डांसिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू आई डोंट नो नेत्ररूपी प्याला से आंख से क्या है जैसे हम पानी पीते हैं जस्ट लाइक यू ड्रिंक वाटर बाय द कप गोपियां किया करती हैं सो व्हाट गोपीज डस नेत्ररूपी मानो सो बाय द बाय द बाय द बाय द ग्लास ऑफ देयर आईज दे आर टेकिंग द दर्शन ऑफ drinking the darshan's water of krishna so in the same way <coughs> gopiyas taking the glass of their eyes and drinking the darshan and taking darshan of beautiful form of krishna but after taking this all darshan they are not satisfied why they are not satisfied because there is a obstacle eyes eyelids are making becoming obstacle here that's why they are not taking completely darshan of govind we are not so that's why they are so much criticizing and teasing so or criticizing teasing or criticizing brahma that time oh brahma why Huh? Yes. 
That's why our. Marja. Hey Brahma, you die, you go. <laughs> so we will, uh, we will make, uh, we will appoint another Brahma on this world. We, they, he will give us so many thousands and thousands of eyes, so that we can take the darshan continuously of Krishna, and they will, and he will not give us eyelids. Always we can take the darshan of Govind by open eyes. So this is very nicely described. We will describe tomorrow. Ah. So this is the Bhagavatam Shloka. Gurudev, the Shloka you have told, it is from the Bhagavatam? Yes, yes, it is the Bhagavatam Shloka. So it's the ninth canto. Which number Shloka? Ninth canto. 24th chapter. 65 Shlokas. Everybody has to decide this tomorrow. So tomorrow Gurudev will listen from everybody. Mm -hmm. God Premanandi Hari Hari Go. How beautiful this shloka is. Very nice shloka. Gopis bhav are expressing. Gopis are expressing their bhav in the shloka. Govins adarshan janit. When they are not taking a darshan of Govind, so how much pain she feels in their heart. So this is described in the shloka. Can I have the water bottle, please? Yes, it's my phone. The phone of Mara. Loki Sota, the Loki is taking it out. So I am going to know. Okay, Bhaiya, hello. See you in, in, the, in, huh? in the evening. Hare Krishna. Tata, bye bye. So, chalo. Ram Ram. Thank you. Radhe Radhe. In this life, anyhow, I have to perform bhajan. Attain my perfect standard. If I have this type of faith, this life I dedicate to Gurudev, Krishna, but still I have uh, in my heart some emptiness, greediness. This is uh, when you chanting holy, holy names and purity. Uh, you still, cannot move away. When you, you cannot remove your heart. But your endeavor, then to keep my heart. But still I have Paramatma Shakti. Paramatma Shakti. Yes. You have. But you have to. Develop more and more.